Stacy has it.
Good evening. I would like to welcome everyone to the Henry County Zoning Advisory Board meeting for Thursday, September 27, 2018. This meeting is being televised on Charter Spectrum Channel 180 AT&T U-verse Channel 99. It will air daily at 1 p.m. with an additional airing on Thursday at 7 p.m. A video is available on demand on the county website. Please turn off all cell phones and laptops and set them to vibrate. Anyone wishing to speak tonight, please fill out a public hearing speaking card. A total of 10 minutes will be allotted for those wishing to speak in favor of a case and 10 minutes for those speaking in opposition of a case. For example, if 10 people wish to speak, they must share the 10 minute slot. When you are speaking, Please face the board and address us directly, not the audience. If you turn to speak to the audience, the board will assume you are finished and call the meet, call, excuse me, and call the next speaker. We will now hear the invocation and pledge by Ms. Consiglio. Thank you. Uh, let's bow our heads. Lord, gracious Heavenly Father, and we thank you for this evening, and we thank you for the rain that we had tonight. We ask you to give us wisdom and knowledge, God, over these cases, and we ask you to go before us as we make these decisions for the citizens of this county, and we give you all the praise and honor in your name. Everyone say amen. amen. All right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The meeting is now called to order. Do I have a motion to accept the agenda? <coughs> I make a motion to accept the agenda. Do I have a second? I second. It's been motion and second. All in favor? Motion carries. Uh, Staff, do you have any comments? Yes, Mr. Chair. The following two cases were advertised for this meeting, but have been withdrawn. Case VR-1806 and case CU-1809, the Kroger Company at 101 Fairview Road. Okay. All right. Okay, if that's the, that's the total <coughs> announcement, we'd like to call the first case, please. VR-1806. 1808, Eugene Edwards of Stockbridge, Georgia, requests a variance from development standards for property located at 551 Patilla Road in Landlot 159 of the 12th District. The property consists of 5.518 plus or minus acres, and the request is regarding road frontage for a flag lot split in District 5, and the report is presented by Mrs. Julie Yoder, Planner 2. Good evening, Chair and Board Members. Good evening. The variance before you this evening is being requested to reduce the requirement for flag lots to have 60 feet of road frontage to 25.05 feet. In 2009, the ULDC changed from requiring a minimum of 30 feet of road frontage to now requiring a minimum of 60 feet. This property was surveyed in 1981 and has 50.04 feet of road frontage. The applicant is proposing to split the existing flag lot into two flag lots, both with a road frontage of 25.02 feet. The request to eliminate or reduce lot frontage is not a variable item and not in harmony with the intent of the section for granting variances. Because the lot as it sits now is considered legal nonconforming, staff recommends approval of a variance to allow the lot to have 50.04 feet of road frontage instead of the required 60. But denial of the request to split the property resulting in 25.02 feet of road frontage for the existing property and the proposed. With that being said, I'd be happy to take any questions you have. Yeah, Julie, additionally, you said that it was 
the code change from 30 to 50? Okay. And if it was at 25, uh, would the will you be able to allot it based on the percentage? I'm not sure I understand your question. Uh, will you would you be able to allot a variance based on it? If it was at 25, would you be able to split these two properties and do it based on the 10% rule? No, the requirement now is for 60 feet right. instead of 30. So just going back to the 22 to 30, if you was at 30, uh, you would be able to allot a variance of 10%. Are you asking about an administrative yes. variance? Yes. That okay. the administrative waivers that we're allowed to approve are limited to particular requests, such as for setbacks, and they're, they're specified in our Unified Land Development Code, and the road frontage is not one of those things that we can consider administratively. So this variance would be required. Okay. All right. And one other question for you, staff. In terms of uh, changing from the 30 to uh, 50, What's the total intent behind that change, or do we do we know? Do you mean the code changing from 30 yes. to 60 feet? Yes. I don't know what that intent was, no. Okay. Well, Mr. Chair, we can say that it's very necessary to have a road frontage requirement of some distance to prevent there from being landlocked pieces of property, which in the experience of other jurisdictions have caused problems. Okay. All right. But based on the, uh, just say for instance, if this was approved, that would be, the applicant could not go beyond two properties on this, or two structures on this property. What we would recommend, if it's the pleasure of the board to approve this variance, that you would approve it as a reduction in the road frontage requirement from 60 to 25, rather than just eliminate it altogether. And that would, that would mean that they could only split it up into two lots. So it would lock it at a point where that you, we wouldn't have to worry about coming back for additional variance for additional properties or additional structures on the property. That's, that's correct. And we also, it would allow the applicant's request for two lots, but no more. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Any other questions for staff? Nope, then we'll call the, please uh, have the applicant come forward, if you would, please. The applicant, please come forward. <clears throat> please, if you would, state your name and address for the record. Good evening. My name is Annette Harge Edwards, and I live at 551 Patilla Road, Stockbridge, Georgia, 30281. And this is my husband, but he just had knee replacement, so he can't stand very long. But he's here with his walker. And I would just like to, uh, to approach you. And I'll thank, uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you all for hearing the, um, our case. The, per the property was purchased. We moved here from Fort Lauderdale, Florida uh, in 1980, 1981. And we found this piece of property and was very impressed with it. And we fell in love with it and purchased it. So we, we've had it for quite a while. And we built our home on the property in 2000. So we've been there. It's a 4,500 square foot home. And when we purchased the property and built the home, I guess we didn't think we were gonna get this age. You know, we didn't think about aging later. Uh, we've enjoyed the home and we would like to re keep the property in the family. We have two adult children. Our daughter is here and our son doesn't live here at this moment. But we would like to keep it as family property. It means a lot to us and that's, we love the property. And the reason we want to downsize to a 23, 18 to 2300 uh, square foot house is because it has become too much for my husband. He's had two back surgeries. He's had just had a knee surgery, knee replacement, scheduled for another knee replacement November 28th uh, of this year. So it has gotten to be too much for the upkeep uh, for him to handle. And we would just like to downsize, but we want to keep the property in the family. As most people, uh, we have two children, adult children, and we would like to keep the property in the family for them. Um, I would just ask if you would really consider approving this variance for us, um, because downsizing would be um, most, most effective for us 
uh, at our age and not having to take care of five and a half acres, but as you see on the plat there, it will be an acre and a half. That's in that left-hand corner to my left. So that would be most appropriate uh, for him to take care of at his age and with the back surgeries that he has had. So we appreciate your consideration. Are there any questions? Yes, Ms. Elvis, the triangle shape, is that the area where you plan to build the property? Yes, it says track two, yes. Okay, all right, and what's the square footage? It would be between 1,800 and 2,300 square feet, and we have like a 4,300 square feet house now. Okay, okay, that's all I have as of now. Any other questions for the applicant? Thank you. Thank you. At this time, we'll allow uh, 10 minutes for anyone, anyone who wants to speak in favor of this case, anyone who would like to speak in favor of this case. Please, for the record, if you would state your name and address. Good evening. My name is Monique Edwards. I am the daughter of both Eugene and Annette. Those are my parents sitting behind me. Um, and again, thank you for your time tonight and hearing uh, the case for my parents. Um, as my parents, as my mom just stated, um, I'm one of two children, uh, adult children for Annette and Eugene. And again, uh, the property means a lot to my parents. Again, they've had this property for over 20 years. And my parents are 71 and 75. Um, I am one of two. My brother does not live in the state of Georgia. And I'm the only one that lives here. Um, my future husband and I have plans to purchase the main house. That is what our, our plans are within the next year or so. So for me, this house means a lot. It, it has sentimental value. It's the dream house that my father built for my mom. And so to keep this house in the family and also to approve this, uh, to, for you to approve building another house on the property would all would not only make it more convenient for my parents and for my dad to maintain the acre and a half of property, but it also allows me as the only child in the state of Georgia to keep a watchful eye on my parents as they age, since my brother is not here. Um, my brother lives in New Jersey, um, which is quite far. So with the only child living in Georgia, I need to keep my parents near to me. Um, being the only child here. So um, again, my, my dad has had multiple back surgeries. He has another knee replacement coming up. So my, my parents are older and um, I need to keep a watchful eye on them and I need to keep them close. So uh, for me, again, all of this has sentimental value. The house means a lot and I want to keep it in the family. And again, my future plans with my future husband and my future family involves purchasing the house within the next year or so. So again, thank you for your time and you know your consideration means the world. It means a lot um, to even consider approving um, my parents building another house on the property. So thank you so much for your time and consideration this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else that would like to speak in favor of this case? There's five minutes remaining. If you would please state your name and address. My name is Nathaniel Key Jr. I reside at 557 Patillo Road. I actually own the property in front of their uh, home. I've been there 10 years. Uh, now we purchased the property in 1998. And we were able to build our home in 2008. And we've been neighbors with the Edwards from day one, even when we purchased the land before we even began to uh, build our home. And they helped us out a lot with uh, what to do and how to get started. And we've been neighbors from that point on. We help each other out when we can. When he needs something, uh, I'm there for him and vice versa. We don't have any issues, uh, and I have no problem with uh, them asking for the variance. Uh, we take care of our properties. We look out for one another. Uh, we are great neighbors. That's all I have to say. Great. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Is there anyone else that would like to speak in favor of this case? If not, then, is there anyone that would like to speak in opposition to this case? No, then does the board have any additional questions for either the applicant <coughs> or staff? Let's call the case. BR 1808, Eugene Edwards of Stockbridge, Georgia, requests a variance from development standards for property located at 551 Patilla Road in Landlot 159 of the 12th District. The property consists of 5.518 plus or minus acres, and the request is regarding road frontage for a flag lot split in District 5, and the report was presented by Mrs. Julie Yoder, Planner 2. Do I have a motion? Yes, I'd like to make a motion to approve the variance uh, with the condition that <coughs> one structure is, one additional structure is built on the pro a maximum of one additional uh, dwelling is built on the property. Do I have a second? Mm -hmm. All in favor? The motion carries. Call the next case, please. RZ 1813. Carol Gilmore of Fayetteville, Georgia, requests a rezoning from R2, single family residence, to C2, general commercial, for property located at the northwestern intersection of Tunis Road and Jodico Road in landlot 79 of the 6th District. The property consists of 1.12 plus or minus acres, and the request is general commercial to conform to surrounding properties and the future land use map. This is District 4, and the, re the report is presented by Mrs. Julie Yoder, Planner 2. Good evening again. The applicant is requesting to rezone this property from R3 single family residence to C2 general commercial so that they may sell the property. The future land use map designates this property for commercial land use, which supports the applicant's request, and there are existing commercial properties to the east, south, and west of the subject property. Also, this property is located within the highway corridor overlay, so any future development will have to comply with those standards. With that being said, staff recommends approval of the rezoning request, and I'd be happy to take any questions you have. Does the board have questions for staff? <clears throat> no questions. We'd like the applicant to come forward. Please state your name and address for the record. Hi. Good evening, Chair and Board. Thank you for your time. My name is Rick Rice, and I represent Carol Gallimore. As her, she is my client in this. Unfortunately, she apologized for not being able to make it here tonight, but her health doesn't allow her to drive when it gets starting to get dark. But um, I think Ms. Julie Order did a good job of what we're trying to do here, and we're just trying to conform to the area. Her family, her, parent, her father bought this property years ago, and he and his wife have passed on, so Carol would like, you know, she doesn't want to hold it. She would like to do something with it where she can then use that money to pay medical bills or other expenses she has. Does the board have questions for an applicant? If there is no questions, you may be seated, sir. Okay, thank you for your time. Oh, I'm sorry. I just have a question for staff. C2, what, um, what all can go in a C2? Um, being that it's general commercial, it could be anything from a restaurant to a grocery store to retail, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, and uh, the things that are around it, are those C2 also, do we know? There are C2 properties. This is C2. Uh, most of this is C2. There are some C3. And um, okay. this is actually C1. That's a C1. Yes, okay. I just needed to know what was around it. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, I guess I do have one question for you. Now, do yes, the applicant have any idea in terms of uh, what they plan to, or what's the plans for the future? No, she, she has, we have not approached anybody yet to, to try to sell it. We just want to make it more marketable for her and, and conform with the current conditions that are in the area. Okay. Any additional questions? Okay. You may be seated, okay. sir. Thank you. 
I don't see anyone in the audience to uh, speak in opposition or in favor. So at this time, does the board have any questions for staff or the applicant? If not, call the case, please. RZ 1813, Carol Gilmore of Fayetteville, Georgia, requests a rezoning from R2 single family residence to C2 general commercial for property located at the northwest intersection of Tunis Road and Jodico Road in lane lot 79 of the 6th district. The property consists of 1.12 plus or minus acres, and the request is general commercial to conform to surrounding properties and the future land use map in district 4 and the report was presented by Mrs. Julie Yoder, Planner 2. Okay. You've heard the case. Do we have a motion? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion for approval of RZ-18-13, <coughs> rezoning from R3 single family resident to C2 general commercial. I'd like to second. I have a motion, second. Any discussion? Okay. All in favor? Motion carries. I believe that concludes our cases. All right. Motion to adjourn. It's all around.